Utah Valley in the gray. Brand new uniforms for Utah Valley in those gray tops, and they have possession here with Blaze Neal, number three, at the point guard position for the Wolverines. And I got to tell you, I love Mark Madsen's choice wearing the gray suit to match his team. Latre Darthard for three. That one rattles in and out, and the rebound pulled down by the sophomore Cameron Steele for Abilene Christian. Reggie Miller, their guard, will run the offense, the redshirt senior from Houston, Texas. Steele with it now at the top. And Steele will take the three here, and that one misses long, and Connor Harding there to pull the rebound for Utah Valley. Great job by Connor Harding to push off, get a good rebound. Fardaz Amak gets his first offensive touch here, and he'll roll off the screen there. Connor Harding pulls up, takes a long three, and hits a three-pointer for Connor Harding, and Utah Valley's on the board 3-0. You know, I was going to say that was probably poor shot. Shot possession, kind of a short step back, but he hits it anyway, and so maybe Connor telling me, nah, I can shoot wherever I want from three. A good start for Utah Valley, a quick 3-0 lead right here as they'll get it inside. Here's Steele against Amac. Other side, it's Arion Simmons. That one can't go, but Steele's able to tip the rebound out. Driving down the lane with the left hand. That one rolls down and good for Reggie Miller for the first bucket for Abilene Christian. And it's early, but something Fardaw Zamak needs to do is set himself up in the post, establish dominance early, so they'll know that he's a dominant force both offensively and defensively. Connor Harding in the post, guarded by Makai Morris, number 12. And Harding with the left hand, can't get the layup to roll. Morris right there, sorry, that's not Morris, that is Mason pulling the rebound. Courtney Mason, number 20, pulls the rebound. Or sorry, Corian Mason, as that one misses for Morris. And back the other way comes Utah Valley. 3-2 lead Utah Valley, 17-51 to play in the opening quarter. Or sorry, the opening half. That one left short by Amac, and Abilene Christian coming the other way. It's so far been kind of a slow down game looking for Utah Valley's pace. They just need to do a little bit better on shot selection. Cameron Steele hits a three and Abilene Christian has their first lead at 5-3. The first bucket for Cameron Steele. Good job by Cameron Steele to draw Fardal Zamak away from the basket. Make him defend you out on the perimeter. Harding, I think, was trying to look for Amac, but Abilene Christian doing a nice job. Here's Tim Fuller on the shot, and he gets the roll to go. A nice job for Tim Fuller. Great job to just get in the post, get a good bucket, bang off a guy, and get the bank. The 6'9 sophomore from Gilbert. Really, Tim Fuller has given Utah Valley that second inside presence to kind of help take some of the pressure off Fardaz Amac. Yep. Cameron Steele hits again for three on the other side, his second. He's got six to lead all scores, and Abilene Christian is up eight to five here in the first. Steele's a sneaky good three-point shooter at that center position. Six eight, so he's a little bit shorter than Amac, but if he can draw Amac away from the basket, that favors Abilene's game. That one's gonna be knocked away and stolen back the other way. Here comes Abilene Christian in the front court. They'll try to set up the offense here with Reggie Miller and losing the basketball, picking it back up, though. Arion Simmons lost it, able to get it back, though, and Utah Valley now able to control. Kind of a sticky possession right there for Abilene Christian, and here comes Utah Valley. Harding double-teamed, and he travels with 16.04 left here in the first half. Substitutions coming in will be Emmanuel Allen, a 6'4 guard from Phoenix, along with Damian Daniels for Abilene Christian. You know, as we see, Utah Valley not doing very good on the turnover margins so far, already having two quick turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions. And that was going to be a key for Utah Valley tonight right here. I guess a, a dead ball turnover doesn't allow Abilene Christian to really get out and run as much as they would like to, compared to a turnover where they're able to run. That's when the problems will come for Utah Valley. Here's Daniels in the corner. That one is off. And coming the other way comes Utah Valley. That was Emmanuel Allen on the shot there for Abilene Christian. Here's Fardaz Amac at the top over to Blaze Neal. Amac pulls up long two, banks it in off the glass. Tim Duncan style gets that one to go. And it's an 8-7 game right now in favor of Abilene Christian. 
Bardas Amak doing his best this season to slim down and improve his outside shooting game as he's a prospect for the NBA and he wants to do as much to favor his game. Tobias Cameron hits a three right there. A big shot there. So far, Abilene Christian hitting from distance. They are three of seven here in the early going, and that's over 40%. Anytime you're shooting over 40% from three, you'll take it. And it's a four-point Wildcat lead here. Connor Harding gets it over to Latre Darthur. High post here is Amac against Steele. They'll double team Amac. He goes up, lost the ball. It's going to be knocked away and stolen by Abilene Christian. Wildcats looking to run into the front court. A three on its way. This time, Emmanuel Allen can't get it to go. Rebound's going to be pulled finally by Blaze Neal. Utah Valley needs to just settle down a little bit, hold on to the ball, prevent these turnovers because Abilene Christian is a great shooting team. They're also a great running team and it looks like the shooting's already on tonight, so you don't want to allow them, to allow them to get the run in as well. Tim Fuller attacks the basket with the driving layup and gets it to go. Fuller has four points on the night, and it's back to a two-point lead for Abilene Christian, 11-9 here with 13.58 to play in the first half. Still waiting our first media timeout, the next dead ball, as that one is go good on the other side for Emmanuel Allen. He's able to get that one to go, and that's not an easy spot to get that in over Amac and, and Tim Fuller. Especially Amac being a former WAC Defensive Player of the Year last year. Averages, averages 1.7 blocks a game. A lot of dribbling there from Amac. It's now gets it over. Here's Connor Harding. Amac turns, puts up a shot. That one is long, and the rebound pulled down by Cameron Steele. Back the other way into the front court. Damian Daniels goes up with the right hand, gets the roll, and it goes for when he's in the post. So they need to do a better job of securing the ball. Tim Caesar is checked in here for Utah Valley. The 6'9 sophomore from Marion, Arkansas. And we'll see here what Utah Valley does here out of the timeout. An opportunity for Utah Valley to maybe slow the pace down a little bit. Here's Connor Harding. He'll take a long two pull-up jump shot, and he gets the roll. Connor Harding has five points here in the early going, and a nice job there from Utah Valley getting a set possession and a good shot. Tobias, number 11 there, gets that one to roll. Tobias Cameron, and the second attempt put back, and that is good for Uot Guy, number 34, able to get to go a 6'11 junior uh, transfer from South Plains College. Blaze Neal to the basket, right hand layup, good. Great job by Blaze Neal. He saw that open lane and he just turned on the Jets and scored. Damian Daniels, number four, running the point here for Abilene Christian. Wildcats wearing their purple uniforms, Utah Valley in the gray. Looks like Abilene Christian right now just trying to beat Utah Valley at their own game. Reggie Miller comes off the screen and hits the two-point jump shot and the lead back to 19-13 in favor of Abilene Christian. Neald with the basketball, number three. That was going to be knocked. Conference play, that's your most important play of the season for every team. Latre Darthur with the basketball, number one for Utah Valley. Wolverines going with Neald, Caesar, Amac. Darthard and Asa McCord. And that was almost knocked away by Damian Daniels, but he got a little too much of the arm there of Tim Caesar. That's going to be the first foul on Daniels. That's the first team foul. We went about eight and a half minutes or so with no fouls here. Here's Blaze Neald with the basketball, attacking the basket, pulls up, floats it off the glass for two for Blaze Neald. Neald now with four points on the evening for the Wolverines. You know, Bla Blaze is more of a playmaker, not really much of a scorer on this team. But if he sees, as the point guard, that that's what he does for his team to win this game, he's going to look out to come and score. We're going to have an offensive foul coming right there against a UOT guy. That's going to be his first, second team foul. Substitutions for Abilene Christian, Makai Morris, and Corian Mason will come back in. And Utah Valley a chance now to cut within uh, in by two or three here, depending on 
how this possession goes. Amax spins baseline, sends it back out. Darthard quickly picked up. McCord gets it to Caesar in the high post, tries to get it inside. Amax somehow comes away with it. Turn around, hook shot good for Fardaz Amax. They have been bothering Fardaz Amax so far all of this game, and Fardaz hits him with the hook shot to say, How about that? Bother me all you want, I can still score. Fardaz Amac, four points, one rebound here in the early going for Utah Valley. And you know, the way that ACU's guarding Fardaz Amac, that can lead into a lot of reaching fouls and things like that, so they gotta be careful as well. Corian Morris on the drive, he can't get that one to go, and Amac right there to pull the rebound. Long arms of Amac adjusting, made him adjust that shot. It doesn't go down as a blocked shot in the stat category, but it sure should be like an affected shot stat category or something. That one knocked away, last touched by uh, Abilene Christian. Yeah, and when you talk about affected shots, I mean, these big guys with these long arms, you, you'd love to see how many shots that they actually affect if they don't quite get their hand on it. Neald spins down the lane, now sends it out. Here's McCord. Cross court pass in the corner. Tim Caesar gets it quickly out. There's going to be a traveling violation and a turnover against Utah Valley with 9.48 to play before halftime as Caesar just kind of shuffled the feet there right along the sidelines, trying to probably make sure he didn't touch the inline. Yeah, he was caught, you know, on a quick pass, and sometimes your mind overreacts a little bit too fast. Abilene Christian, they forced 20-plus turnovers in all but two games this year. Double digits in steals in all but three games. Here's Corian Morris on the drive, puts up the tough shot, he's gonna get fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. The foul is gonna go on Latre Darthard. That will be his first and the first team foul here. And the first time tonight we'll have free throws coming right here, and I believe that will send Corian Mason here to the line. Mason, a six foot redshirt senior from Oklahoma City. Started his college career at Ranger College. And Mason gets the first one to go. Jordan Battle will check in for the Wolverines to replace Blaze Neal. Jordan Battle's kind of that effort guy coming off of the bench. He looks good to kind of match this Abilene Christian energy. So we'll see how he can do to, you know, control the ball for Utah Valley. Jordan Battle with the basketball right here for the Wolverines. Amac in the high post, now over to Latrade Arthur. Moving the basketball, battle with it now. Here's Caesar trying to get it into Amac. Amac quickly double teamed. Steps in, left side, layup, good for Fardaz Amac. Amac starting to establish himself in the post a little bit. They're still haunting him all over the place, but you know, as this game moves forward, you're gonna see Amac either drawing fouls or scoring buckets in those situations. Back cut for Abilene Christian, the layup is good, and that one is down for Makai Morris. And talk about a great feed from Arion Simmons, just right top of the key, straight down low. Not a lot of room there, wiggle room on that pass, it had to be almost perfect. McCord picks up the basketball just before it hit the center court line there to avoid a turnover. Inside, here's Amac again, another tough one. Abilene Christian wanted to travel. It's gonna be a steal coming the other way. Here comes Abilene Christian. Setting it up here with Reggie Miller. Simmons with the basketball. He's really been pulling Amac out from underneath the hoop. Here's, here's Steele backing down Caesar. Steps through, tries to feed it to Miller. 11, so that's a, a big lead right now for Lamar, but right here, these two teams, Utah Valley and Abilene Christian, both at the top of the conference as Jordan Battle has the basketball for the Wolverines. And the WAC conference with adding some new teams this season is looking like it's gonna be a pretty good basketball conference through both divisions here as we get to see this interdivisional matchup. Tim Caesar shoots a three, and can't get that one to go. Rebound is pulled down by Corian Mason for Abilene Christian. Mason quickly going into the front court right there. And inside, here is Steele. He had his shot blocked by Caesar. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touch, they're going to say, by Utah Valley. Great job by Tim Caesar to get up there. 
unfortunately he couldn't quite grab it with his hands, knocks it out of bounds. But that's the kind of dominance that you want to have on the low post if you're UVU. Attacking the basket is Simmons. He can't get it to go right there. Whistles in the backcourt, and we're going to get a foul on Arian Simmons. The sophomore from Little Rock, Arkansas, going to commit his first personal. That's the third team foul against Abilene Christian. Right now, Abilene Christian with three team fouls, Utah Valley with one. So no really threat of free throws or the bonus here, at least with the next about 7-10 to play before halftime. Connor Harding with the basketball. Gets it over to Caesar in the corner. Latre Darther thought about it. He'll drive baseline. Back over Connor Harding, dangerous pass. Stolen by Arian Simmons, who will lay it in on the other side for two. That's the fourth fast break point of the night for Abilene Christian. And that's what Abilene Christian does. That's their bread and butter. So you want to limit turnovers because Abilene Christian, that's exactly what they do. Force a steal, force a turnover, and just go and get a layup. Connor Harding for three in the corner. This one is short. Rebound pulled down by Logan McLaughlin. Into the front court, McLaughlin will pull up and take a deep three. That one is good for the freshman from Carrollton, Texas. And it's a 28-19 lead. A very quick 7-0 run over the last two minutes and 16 seconds for Abilene Christian. Comfortable looking shot for McLaughlin as well. He pulled that right up as soon as he kind of crossed half court. He knew he was going to shoot it. Utah Valley looking for a bucket. Connor Harding with the basketball, thought about it, gets it over Jordan Battle. Puts it on the ground, almost lost it. Five to shoot, the Wolverines have to hurry. That one's almost thrown away. Battle has to throw it up from almost half court, and that one hits the very top there. That will be a shot clock violation, not the possession you were looking for there if you're head coach Mark Madsen. And with 5.53 to go, a couple of substitutions as Tim Fuller and Blaze Neal will come back in for Utah Valley. And Abilene Christian's defense has just been swarming all over, players moving all over the place, doing a great job. All these players are actually incredibly fast, so it makes it hard to get something going on the offensive end. Cameron Steele going to the basket, thought about it, and right now Abilene Christian's definitely taking advantage. Definitely. Pulling up is Tobias Cameron, can't get it to go. Rebounds tipped around and controlled by Emmanuel Allen. In the corner, it's Damian Daniels hitting a three, and Abilene Christian's gone up 31 to 19 here on the Wolverines. And if you're Utah Valley, you know, you, you, are, you are taller and you're a better rebounding team than this Abilene Christian team, so you shouldn't allow those offensive boards. Amac with the layup there to end the 10-0 Abilene Christian run, but the lead still 10 for the Wildcats. Amac now with eight points to go along with three boards. Emmanuel Allen, number 25, with the basketball. Here's Daniels trying to attack the basket. They pop it out. That's a three for steal. Rebound's going to be tipped around and controlled. Abilene Christian, I think, was looking for a foul. They didn't get it. Darthard for three on the other end hit. A big three there from Latre Darthard. A quick 5-0 run for the Wolverines. And you have to think here, Utah Valley in a position where they need a run here, Chad. Definitely, Latre Darthard does a great job to kind of match ACU's game and do a great job to just pull up on the three on the fast break. Tobias Cameron lost the basketball. They're going to say it was last touched by the Wolverines. We'll get a substitution right here for Abilene Christian for AHA. Kadodidu will check in for Abilene Christian. Tobias Cameron with it, number 11. Here's McLaughlin hit the three earlier, driving to the basket on Blaze Neal. And throws that one away. It's stolen by Latre Darthur. Darthur goes up. He's going to be fouled before the shot on, by Damian Daniels. And that is going to be the fourth team foul. That may be the second on Daniels. And it will be the second. That's the first Wildcat with two fouls. And we'll have a substitution as Jay Sean Jackson, a six-foot freshman from San Antonio, will check in. And you know, I don't really know what Daniels was kind of doing there. He, he kind of ran into Latre Darthur, kind of like a football tackle almost. Bardoz, Amac goes up, can't get it to go. Fuller can't get the putback to go. And back the other way, here comes ACU. Jason Jackson pulls up, can't hit the jump shot from the free throw line. Amac pulls the rebound. And, UV, and UVU needing to kind of establish 
more on those rebounds, and Fardo Zamak is doing a great job to allow that to happen. Blaze Neal almost throws it away, able to recover right there. Here's Connor Harding, thought about it, drops it into Fuller. Neal puts it now on the deck again. He that was Fardaz Amak there coming back from the timeout. And right there, a big shot for the Wolverines as Latre Darther gets it to go. A big three-point basket for the Wolverines. Latre Darther trying to put some energy and establish some energy in this game for UVU. Two great threes for Latre Darther as he's trying to get him back into this game. We mentioned the Wolverines may need a run here before halftime. Well, they have an 8-0 run right here. That shot is off right there for Emmanuel Allen, and Amac pulls the rebound. Utah Valley a chance to cut it within two, maybe one with a three. 2.52 to play before halftime here in Orem. Connor Harding with the basketball. Drives baseline. Kicks it out to Blaze Neal back at the top for the Wolverines. Harding left open, drives past one defender, pulls up, takes the two and hits. Connor Harding Harden. with seven. Connor Harding does a great job being able to drive in, pull up mid-range, set back, pull out. He's really a threat to drive and to shoot, especially going, you know, he's great with his left hand going baseline as well. Abilene Christian, that one's going to be almost thrown away. It goes out of bounds. Last touched here by Utah Valley. It's a couple of subs coming in right here for, uh, for the... Wildcats as Cameron Steele will check in. And I think Arian Simmons as well coming back on the floor. Back at the top, Cor Corian Mason. Here's Simmons with the basketball. Goes down the key with the right hand. Gets it to go off the glass for two. Great job by Simmons to drive inside, getting it over Fuller. Fuller has about a four-inch height advantage over Simmons as well. So great job by him to look in. Simmons listed at 6'4", 264, a sophomore. That one's going to be stolen away by Makai Morris. Goes up, lays it in for two. And back to a six-point lead for Abilene Christian. Points off turnovers, or sorry, fast break points were 7-3 to three in favor of Abilene Christian at the last media timeout. That should push it to a 9-3 right there. And just when you think that UVU's kind of settled into this game. Abilene Christian will just force a turnover and score a quick, easy layup. That's kind of how they play their game. Neal with the basketball. Here's Harding, baseline, shoots a floater. That one hits front iron, can't go down. Fuller tries to fight his way for the board, ends up throwing the ball away. Great effort there from Tim Fuller. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out in the Wolverines' favor. Here's Simmons for three, that one is good, and it's back to a nine-point lead right here for Abilene Christian. Final minute here before halftime. And the Wildcats just looking to establish their pace right now, and that's what they've been doing. It, UVU has not been meshing well to try and adapt to what Abilene Christian has been forcing this game. Here's Blaze Neald, shoots a three. That one's good for Blaze Neald. A big three right there to end the 7-0 Abilene Christian run. 32 seconds. Here. There's about a six second difference between shot clock and game clock here before halftime. Abilene Christian gonna have to take a shot right here. Reggie Miller with it. Here's Morris. Simmons takes a three. That one is off right to Reggie Miller and now Abilene Christian can hold for the final shot. The offensive rebound right there. That is the sixth offensive rebound, probably the seventh offensive rebound. Here coming for Abilene Christian. That one was short. Neal with the rebound. Going to have to shoot it up. Three-quarter court. Now it's good. He hit. Teams going back to their original starters. Abilene Christian with Steele, Miller, Morris, Mason, and Simmons on the floor. Utah Valley with Darther, Neal, Fuller, Amac, and Harding. Abilene Christian in the purple. Utah Valley in the gray uniforms that say the Valley written across the chest. Driving to the basket right here. Abilene Christian will reset it back at the top. Here's Miller off the glass. That one's going to get the roll right there down off the rim. A well-contested shot by the Wolverines, but Miller able to get the roll, and he's slow to get up on the other end right here. And there's going to be a foul on right here. That's Reggie, that's Reggie Miller, number 10. He's being helped off the floor. He made the layup, and then... 
I think got, had some contact there and just was on the ground right there. Wait and see here. They call the foul on Abilene Christian. Miller and doing a great job to fully extend his left arm on that layup, though. The problem was he was off balance, might have landed wrong. And, you know, you hate to see that. Makai Morris committing the foul just to stop play. The Wolverines were uh, had a five-on-four advantage, and it didn't look like Reggie Miller was going to be able to make it down the floor right there. Neal coming back the other way, drops the pass inside a four for the slam. And that's called establishing dominance. And what a great job by Fuller to get out, get the slam, and great assist by Blaze Neal. Steele goes baseline over Fuller, can't get the roll, and Fuller pulls the rebound. Coming back the other way is Blaze Neal. Utah Valley a chance to tie with a three or cut it to one. Here's Neal baseline, almost lost it, now picks up his dribble in the corner. Latre Darther now with the basketball, number one. Here's Amac on the elbow, puts it down, goes off the glass, can't get the roll, and right there for the rebound was Morris. Steele inside, spins, turnaround, hits the shot. And Abilene Christian back up five from Cameron Steele. It was a good move by Steele. If you're a smaller guy trying to bang in the post, those post moves are valuable. And what a great job to fake right, go with the left spin and lay it in. Steele with eight points on three of nine shooting. Here's Amac on the perimeter. With the basketball, Amac. Finds Connor Harding. Harding on the drive. Sends it back out. Blaze Neal for three. That one is long. Rebound. Controlled by Tim Fuller. Utah Valley with a second chance. And, and what a great job by Fuller to get the offensive rebound because that has been where UVU has been uncharacteristically lacking so far with zero second chance points so far in this game. Here's Latre Darthur. It hits a three in the corner and they no longer have zero second chance points as that will swing the advantage to 7-3 in favor of Abilene Christian. Here's Steele, puts it on the deck. Simmons will take a three, that one's good. And Arion Simmons, the sophomore from Little Rock, hits the three. And it seems like whenever UVU does a great job to get a good possession, Abilene just answers right back with a great three-pointer there in that case. Neal with the basketball back to Connor Harding. Utah Valley shooting 61% from the field. Abilene Christian 49%. Amac in the post, almost lost it. It's saved. Diving for it was Abilene Christian. It's going to go off the Wildcats right there. As diving into the bench, I believe was Makai Morris, number 12. And now we'll have a, looks like a substitution coming in for both sides as Emmanuel Allen will come in for Abilene Christian. Tim Caesar in for Utah Valley. And Morris, I think, just kind of cemented Abilene's attitude with that hustle right there. He wasn't able to get the ball, but the amount of hustle that Abilene's presented in this game has been crazy. Neal shoots a three and hits. Blaze Neal, three of four tonight from behind the arc. He's got 13 to lead Utah Valley, and I believe lead all scores on the evening. This is a different Blaze Neal than we usually see. He's not being as much of a, you know, a quiet playmaker. He's really lighting it up from three and establishing the offense. Pull up jump shot is short for Emmanuel Allen. Back comes Utah Valley. The Wolverines a chance to tie or this to take the lead and Darthard can't get it to go. Harding tips the rebound to Caesar and Neal now for the lead, got it! What a great job by Connor Harding to fight for the board and passes it to the wide open. Blaze Neal gets two three point jump shots. Utah Valley now back up by one. I like Utah Valley's decision. They came out in the first half, game plan wasn't working. It looked like they've really started to turn it up here in the second half and kind of switch their game plan around. Right here as inside for three. As that is good for Abilene Christian. I think Cameron's still a little bit of an underrated three-point shooter. He's been kind of hitting a lot of threes tonight for Abilene Christian. I was not expecting that out of him. Steele, 11 points. He's three of six from behind the arc tonight. Here's Darthard into Amac. Amac over Steele, can't get the roll. Harding tips out the rebound, though, to Latre Darthard. Tim Caesar with it in the corner. Here's Neal attacking the basket, finds Darthard for three. That one's long. Long rebound collected by Blaze Neal. 
And UVU doing a great job to switch the tempo, get the offensive boards, and kind of establish it as, a, as their game. That's what they struggled with so far. And Abilene Christian looking like they're kind of struggling to keep UVU back again. Neal has to shoot it with three on the clock, and he hits it. Down in the shot clock, Blaze Neal heard the bench yelling how much time was left, and Neal hits it. He's got 19 points on the night for the Wolverines. Blaze Neal absolutely on fire right now from three. He, he just seems like he's going to make anything that he shoots so far tonight. Cameron Steele on the other side, misses that one, hits it short, and back the other way. Here comes Connor Harding. One-point lead, 49-48, Utah Valley. Cross court, it's Darthur. Drives baseline and loses the basketball. They're going to say California Baptist as well. So those broadcasts coming up here on ESPN+. Plus. It's Wildcat basketball out of the timeout. And up at the top here is Reggie Miller. Good to see him back in for Abilene Christian. Yeah, Reggie Miller took a tough fall, but it looks like he's back up and recovered. Miller here, he'll take a three, and he, that one rattled in and out. Rebound goes to Connor Harding. There's going to be a foul, though, and I believe it's going to go against Connor Harding. That's the first team foul against the Wolverines. I believe the first against Harding here in the game. That might be, yeah, that's the first against Harding. Abilene Christian, here is Simmons, gives it to Reggie Miller, down the lane, right hand, that one's blocked by Caesar. Rebound goes to Blaze Neal. Into the front court, Latre Darthur. Connor Harding tries, uh, goes around the screen right here. Utah Valley with Fardaz Amak, giving him a little bit of a rest here early in the second half. Trey Farr, number 21, in the game. He tried to get the basketball, but it's stolen away from Ari by Arion Simmons. Great job by XU to snuff that one out. Knew it was going inside. Took, took the ball, excuse me. And, you know, that's how they can get fired back up. So if you're UVU, you want to limit those. Simmons right there got the basket to go. Simmons is down in the backcourt right here. As he's grabbing his knee, they're going to play on. Blaze Neal gets it over to Connor Harding. Far with it, and he's going to be fouled. Left Utah Valley with three the rest of the way. Wolverine set to inbound. Connor Harding shoots a three, but we'll have an offensive foul right there called against the Wolverines. And I believe it was on Blaze Neal. Oh, sorry, that's on Tim Fuller. So Fuller picks up the offensive foul, second UVU foul right here of the half. Seven, they'll shoot, start shooting free throws. You'll be in the bonus. Back up at the top, Abilene Christian moving the basketball. Inside, here's Steele against Fuller. He spins, goes back to the right, off the back of the iron and down for two. It's a 52-49 lead for Abilene Christian. Cameron Steele has had very little looks in the post so far this game. But when he does, he does a great job to get some good post moves and to get open. 13 points here on the evening for Cameron Steele. Here's Connor Harding with the basketball. Trey Farr, number 21, with the basketball for Utah Valley. That one's poked away by Tobias Cameron. It's going to go last touch by the Wolverines, and the basketball will go to Abilene Christian as Fardaz Amak will check back in. And playing a team like this Abilene Christian team, it's... It seems like you try and take care of the ball, but but every once in a while they can just get something off you where you look like you have control, but they can just reach in there and strip you very easily. Here is a three on its way. That one is off for Steele. Rebound chased down by Abilene Christian. Reggie Miller able to chase it in the corner, and that one's knocked away an over and back violation as uh, Makai Morris just kind of bounced it there off his knee. And that will be a turnover, and the basketball will go back to Utah Valley. Good break for Utah Valley on that on that backcourt violation, as you know they they can't let Abilene come out and run and set the tempo up again. You know you're only down three, so you got to do what you can to keep it in your game and keep it in your tempo to come back. Fardaz Amac in the post, going to work, steps in the middle, and there's going to be a overall from the field. Five of six shooting from three 
has tied his career high with, came with 19 points earlier in the year against Long Beach State. Here's Fardaz Amak in the high post. Amak with the basketball, draws the double team, sends it over, here's Darther. Cross court pass, Harding for three in the lead, that one no good. Rebound pulled down by Guy. And this, this Wildcat defense seems pretty stifling so far. Uh, that was Tobias Cameron on the shot, can't get it to go. Blaze Neal pulls the rebound. Seven assists and now eight boards for Na Blaze Neal. He goes up, there's going to be a blocking foul called against Abilene Christian. It's going to go against Tobias Cameron, the senior from Gold Coast, Australia, and Hillcrest Christian Academy. And now it's going to be the fourth team foul against Abilene Christian as Asa McCord, number zero, will check in for the Wolverines to replace and give Connor Harding a well-deserved uh, rest here in the second half. UVU playing their starters a lot this game. Still zero points off the bench. So we'll see if Asa McCord can, can help contribute. That one's knocked away. Last touch by Abilene Christian. So Utah Valley will have a second shot to inbound here. Utah Valley with four turnovers in the last three minutes and 54 seconds. Trying to have a good set possession here. As Amac thought about the three. Puts it on the deck. Dribbles now goes back up off the glass. He's fouled, and Fardaz Amak will go to the free throw line. The foul, I believe, is going to go on Makai Morris, his second. And that's a good call. You know, when you have when you have people trying to stifle Amak like that, you know, trying to double team like that, he's going to get those type of calls because, you know, he's going to go up and try and generate contact most of the time. Fardaz Amak hits the first free throw. That is the first free throw attempt by the Wolverines tonight. They have not gotten to the free throw line often. They'll try to maybe change that here in the second half. Amac ready for the second one. This one's good, and it cuts the lead down to 52-51, Abilene Christian. Interesting on free throws, when Abilene Christian kind of plays a defense more turned around generating turnovers, so you don't get as many shooting fouls in that type of defense. So it kind of makes sense as to why there hasn't been any free throws since those. Tobias Cameron hits the three in the corner, and Abilene Christian extends their lead right now back up to four, 55-51. Neal picks up. Oh, he might have gotten away there with a little bit of a travel. But just a stoppage to me. It looks like we're going to just continue on right here. So Utah Valley basketball, 10.30 to play here in the second half. Asa McCord, number zero with the basketball. Guarded tightly by Abilene Christian inside. Fardos, Amac triple teamed, and they're going to get a foul on Makai Morris right there on the reach in. Morris, Morris looks like kind of questioning that a little bit, but, you know, the thing is when you put – I've said this, when you put that many guys on a post player, especially when they're all reaching and trying to grab the ball, there's bound to be some contact there in there at some point. Inside, Fardaz Amak triple teamed and a foul, and that's going to be number seven right there on uh, Abilene Christian. So now they'll be shooting free throws as Corian Mason's going to get the foul call. And, you know, and I kind of thought they – the referees kind of didn't call that as much in the beginning of the game, but now I think they're starting to notice, like, these guys are kind of chopping all over at Amac's hands when he gets the ball in the post. Amac can't convert the free throw. Tobias Cameron comes away with the rebound, and Abilene Christian leading 55-51, 10.07 to play here in the second half. The whack opener for both these teams. They both have nine wins overall on the year. Winner of this one would get two double digits and wins as a driving layup is good right there for uh, Corian Mason. Great job by Mason to explode through and create at the rim. Here's Fardaz Amak. Cross court pass to McCourt. Inside, Fuller tries to get it to Amak. It's stolen away. Steele coming up with the steal for Abilene Christian. Reggie Miller way on the three-point line. We'll try to set up some offense right here. Three for, for Mason is off, and the rebound pulled down by Amac. Amac now with seven rebounds to go along with ten points and two assists. And now's not the time to let Abilene Christian get a lead. 
Fuller there tries the layup. It hangs up there on the glass, and Asa McCord tips it in for the first bench points of the night for the Wolverines, and a big bucket and offensive board for Asa McCord. And it's a good job by UVU to keep staying in this game as we reach on at the over a minute mark. Reverse layup good for Cameron Steele. Steele now with 15 points for the sophomore from Excelsior, Minnesota. This is a Abilene Christian team that kind of comes from all over the country as Latrey Darthur hits a three on the other end. A big shot from Latrey Darthur. All over the country and all over the world, you know. Tobias Cameron and uh, you want Guy coming from Australia as well. Tobias Cameron on the drive. There's going to be a foul. I think they're going to get Tim Fuller. We'll wait to see for sure, and it will be Fuller. Um, his second. That's only the third team foul against Utah Valley. So Tobias Cameron will shoot free throws here on the shooting foul. And, and Tobias Cameron, a, a senior on the Sabling Christian team, really experienced this had a lot of time. Obviously got to be a part of a tournament upset with them last year. Cameron hits the free throw. Substitutions coming both sides for Utah Valley and Abilene Christian. And just an experienced team overall as well uh, with three redshirt seniors who have significant minutes on this team. The second free throw from Cameron is good. Pushes the lead to 61-56 or 61 right here. This is an Abilene Christian team that's already played one game in the state of Utah as they took an opening season or opening night loss to Utah, 70-56. to up in Salt Lake City. They'll go down on Saturday and play Dixie State as getting the shot to go is Fardaz Amak, who's now got 12. Great job by Amak. He's got amazing post moves. He has a great hook shot, and we'll look to see more of that in this closing of this game. Damian Daniels steps through and gets the underhand layup to go. Back to a five-point lead right here, under eight minutes to go. The next whistle we should have a media timeout this one stolen by Damian Daniels trying to go coast to coast it's blocked by Darthur offensive rebound for Arian Simmons is good and the layup goes down that was an amazing block by Darthur but great heads up play by Arian Simmons to follow the ball and to get the offensive board and get it an easy layup off the block Blaze Neal down the lane, throws this one away nearly Darthur able to run it down he tips the ball over to Connor Harding Harding puts the ball on the floor. Now he's double teamed. Darthur is down. And right here, coming up here later on in the month of March. Wolverines with the basketball. Fardaz Amak puts that one up long. And right there is Cameron Steele, the 6'8 sophomore, to pull the rebound for Abilene Christian. And the Wildcats look content here, Chad, to slow up the tempo a little bit here and maybe try to run some half court sets. Yeah, if you're Abilene, you know, you're up by seven so far. All you really need to do is get some quality shots and they feel comfortable to slow the ball down a little bit. Damian Daniels, the senior from Kansas City, Missouri with the basketball, drops it inside to Steele. Here's a three for Simmons as the shot clock expires and Simmons drains the three in the corner and that pushes the lead to 10 for Abilene Christian. A quick 6-0 run over the last minute 20 as Neal goes to the bucket, sends it out. Tim Caesar for three. That one is long. Amag pulls the rebound, loses the ball on the floor as coming away with it was Damian Daniels. And we're going to get a foul call against Abilene Christian. Makai Morris there on the foul, and that would be the fourth on Morris right there. Looking to see what the foul was. But it doesn't look like it would have been a foul, more like a warning maybe. Nonetheless, right there, they, they'll move the basketball here at the top. Here, driving to the left, here is Steele. He's left open for three. That one is off. Harding pulls the rebound. Latrey Darthur back to the table. He'll check in next dead ball. 5.50 to go here in the uh, second half. Blaze Neal drops it in, here's Amac. 
The blind side double comes. Amac spins the other way and puts it in for two. Amac aware of the blind side. Decides to spin to his left and a great job by him. He's kind of becoming aware of the tactics that the Wildcats are using against him in the low post. Damian Daniels on the drive baseline. Goes up. That one, I think, blocked by Blaze Neal. Picked up by Fardaz Amac. Blaze Neal's really bringing the energy in this game. Hitting great threes, getting great blocks. Asa McCord can't hit the three in the corner. And the rebound pulled by Cameron Steele. Daniels with it, number four for Abilene Christian. Gets it back, Simmons thought about taking another deep three. He'll drive to the basket, puts it up, and gets it the layup to go. Simmons now with 19, ties a game high. He is now eight for 12 shooting on the night for the sophomore, Arion Simmons. And if you're the Wolverines, you gotta look to get some stops to try and come back with four and a half minutes left. Neal loses the basket. 4.31 to go here in the second half. 70-60 to 60 lead for Abilene Christian. And the Wildcats with the basketball right here. Corian Mason and Daniels in the backcourt. As Abilene Christian looks content to start working some shot clock. With a 10-point lead here late in the contest. Damian Daniels, number four, gets it. Here's Mason now, got up in the air. It's able to get it to steal underneath the basket. Shot gets blocked by Amax. Caesar comes away with it. Biggest thing Utah Valley needs right now is some stops. Definitely. They need to get some stops and get some good looking shots on offense. Move the ball around, take some safe looking shots. Don't try and force it. Neald with the basketball on the perimeter, drops it into Amac. Amac backing down, now triple team, gets it out to Neald for three. That one rattles in and out. Caesar tips the rebound, but right into the hands of Cameron Steele. And just Great job to get past to the open man. Fortunately, doesn't roll out. And just a great job by Abilene Christian to try and assert themselves on the boards, just like they have been all game. Damian Daniels with the basketball, splits the uh, defense, pull up jump shot from the free throw line. No good, Darthard with the rebound. Neal out in front, running one on about three. He'll try to back it out. Darthard with the ball over in the corner, and Darthard's down again right here. Coming back the other way, Daniels, and they'll stem. them. All right, here we go. Let's go, Utah Valley. And this, and this is a good Abilene Christian team uh, to, to go 9-0 and after losing their first two games. They're going to cause some problems for some teams here in the WAC right here, and especially if they could go on the road, kind of like a game like here, and get a win over a good Utah Valley team. That's going to put the Wildcats more towards the top of the conference. Definitely in their first year of conference play as well, coming, you know, being here in the WAC, after joining from the Southland. Driving layup good for Cameron Steele. And it pushes it out to a 12 point Abilene Christian lead. The Abilene Christian women defeating the Utah Valley women earlier today down in Abilene as Fardaz Amac gets the roll to go. And that ends a three minute scoring drought for the Wolverines. And I just like the fire that this Wildcat team plays with. They just always keep looking to generate turnovers and generate some good second chance points. And just the hustle is great out of this team. Simmons out on the perimeter with the basketball. Now gets it over to Corey on Mason. Mason backs it up with a minute 53. Pull up jump shot for Mason is long. Rebound pulled down by Fardaz Amac. That gives Amac a double double with 16 points and 10 rebounds. I think Fardaz Amac just a guaranteed double-double at this point. Amac gets the basket and the foul right there, so he'll have a shot to complete the three-point play. And now that will we'll get a substitution here for Abilene Christian as the foul went on Cameron Steele. Reggie Miller will come back in. Jordan Battle will come in to replace Latre Darthur for Utah Valley. 72-64, Abilene Christian, a minute 38 to play here in the second half. Amac, a chance to tie Blaze Neal and Arion Simmons as the game's leading scorer, and he does that there with the free throw. Neal and Amac with 19 points. Arion Simmons for Abilene Christian also with 19 points. 
Utah Valley looking for a quick steal. Wildcats get it across the timeline here. Attacking the basket, going up against Amac is Makai Morris. He gets it to now will shoot a pair. Our third and 80% free throw shooter. Makes the first right here. 74-66 right here. Utah Valley at the free throw line tonight, four of five. Abilene Christian only four of four, so not a lot of free throws being shot either way here this evening. Darthurd ready for the second free throw. This one hits the front of the rim. Rebound goes to Corian Mason. And it's picked up right here inside. There will be a foul in the backcourt. And I think they're going to get Tim Caesar on the foul. That, I believe, is the first on Caesar. That's only the sixth team foul. So Utah Valley needs, would have to foul one more time to put the Wildcats at the free throw line. Mason with the basketball. It's stolen by Blaze Neal. Neal looking to go straight up, lays it in for two. He's got the two-point bucket and a new career high, 21 points for Blaze Neal. 74-68, and now Mac, Latre Darthurd, Tim Caesar, and Blaze Neal. Amac number 11 with the basketball here. Connor Harding comes off the screen. I think he was looking to kind of take the three off the screen. They'll get it inside. Here's Amac, and there's going to be an Abilene Christian foul, and that's going to go on Arian Simmons. And that's going to be the ninth team foul. I believe they ha I believe they already changed it, the ninth team foul. And it'll be one and one here for Fardaz Amac. And this is the biggest thing right now for Utah Valley. You have a chance to score without any time coming off the clock. Amac, 19 points, three of four from the line. And the first one good for Fardaz Amac. Amac now with 20 points on the night to go along with 10 rebounds and two assists. Amac hits the second one as well. 45.1, Wolverines down four. Abilene Christian's gonna have to hit some free throws down the stretch. Morris gets it up the floor. Here's Daniels, they'll cross the half court line. They're trying to, I think, foul Daniels. Here is Reggie Miller, and now they'll set it back up. Somebody, I would think here, they're trying to either force a turnover. Caesar comes in, and they're going to get a foul on Caesar right before he grabs the ball. It would have been a jump ball, possession arrow favoring Utah Valley. Instead, Caesar picks up the foul, and Abilene Christian will shoot one and one on the other end. A game of seconds right there, Chad, and that was seconds away from being Utah Valley basketball. And Mark Madsen and the whole Utah Valley crowd not really liking that that call and we'll see what comes up as Abilene Christian shooting free throws now. It is a one and one so if Damian Daniels the senior from Kansas City Missouri misses it's a free ball and he makes the first pushes it out to a 75-70 lead right here for Abilene Christian. This is where if you're the Wildcats free throw practice was key. Daniels hits a pair puts it back to a 76-70 game. Utah Valley needs a quick three or a two. Remember, they don't have a timeout. Here's Neal over to Darthurd. He'll take the three. That one is off. Offense or defensive rebound pulled down by Arian Simmons, who is fouled. And now Simmons will go to the free throw line. Not the best shot selection by Latrade Darthurd. He kind of had a man right on his hip. Leads him to shooting the shot a little bit short. Simmons goes to the line. They get Amac. That's his first personal. Eighth, uh, eighth team foul against the Wolverines. So shooting uh, Arian Simmons will shoot a one and one. He hasn't been to the line tonight for Abilene Christian. First one good. So far Abilene Christian seven of seven from the free throw line. Ready to go here, Simmons for the second free throw is good. Abilene Christian leads by eight, 21 seconds on the clock right here. Kneeled into the front court for Utah Valley. Trying to set a screen, Kneeled pulls up and hits a three right there, 78-73. Kneeled now with 24 points on the night. Wolverines looking for a steal and Connor Harding will foul Reggie Miller. And it might just be a little bit too little too late. You know, Bliggs Neal, the 
has been on fire all the, this whole game from three, hitting that amazing shot. Maybe you should have had the ball a little, a little bit more going down the stretch. But, you know, you, you can't erase the past, obviously. But we'll see as these free throws are coming up. Blaze Neal, 24 points, 9 for 11 on field goal attempts, 6 of 8 from 3. They missed the first free throw. Neal's got a hurry, 4 on the clock. He pulls up, shoots a 3 again, and hits! A 3 for Blaze Neal, down to 2.5 seconds. They'll inbound deep to Reggie Miller. Miller will go up and lay it in at the buzzer to 